Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lawrence Mwamba. If you are new, thanks for coming and do subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I have a new video uploaded. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video and to share the video. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming through. I appreciate your support. So, this is What's Trending with Lawrence. And on today's episode, we have four trending stories. The first on the list is a sad development. Chadwick Postman dies at 32. On the list, we also have Patson Daka scores two goals in Red Bull and Liverpool friendly game. We also have um, Alice and Aussie speculations on the list. And the last one, we have the 90s challenge, which really made rounds on social media. For example, um, is this that really cracked my ribs? Robert, meet Robert and uh, Kong were the first two kids uh, to eat Ishima from the neighbor in 1906. Like really, that is this crazy thing. So we'll get into the details of these trading stories right after this ad break. Chadwick Bosman dies at 43. Um, I don't know what to say. It's like the entire country is mourning this legend. Not only is Zambia mourning Chadwick Bosman, but the entire world is mourning this legend. So, Black Panther star Chadwick dies at 43. Chadwick was diagnosed with. Uh, stage 3 colon cancer in 2016 and battled with it these last four years as it progressed to stage 4. Okay. It was the honor of his career to bring King T'Challa to life in Black Panther. Now this legend, like I said earlier, has been mourned by almost everyone because he brought amazing acting skills to the acting industry in different movies that he did before he passed. And some of the movies are his done movies from Marshall to the Five Blood, August Wilson, Marine, Black Bottom, and several more movies that I cannot uh, continue to list because there are just too many. So the entire world is mourning this legend he has really left us heartbroken. Now, what really caught my attention is this particular uh, drawing from Messi G. Messi G decided to draw uh, the late Chadwick Boseman as a tribute. This piece of art is just extraordinary. It looks so real. So let's take a look at this piece of art by Messi G or Chadwick Boseman. So, that's the drawing by Messi G art. I'm sure you can see that the drawing is extremely exceptional. We mourn you, Chadwick Boseman. Indeed, you change. A lot of lives you inspired a lot of lives you inspired a lot of upcoming actors wherever you are may your soul rest in peace now it's not only messi g that uh, went an extra mile to pay tribute to the late legendary uh chadwick postman there's also this man i don't really know his name but he drew the legend with rose flowers let's take a look at this video
that's another piece of art by I don't know this man but it's just a video going around on Facebook and other social media platforms I'm sure it's amazing and extremely uh, astonishing so I mean people are doing all this to show that they appreciated the legend that is possible. Now one thing that really has uh, impressed me about Bosman's family is that they they can keep secrets. Like who knew that he was battling with cancer? Who knew that uh, Bosman had cancer? Nobody. Now this is this is how family is supposed to be. This is how friends and family are supposed to be. You don't need to publicize everything on social media. At times it's not necessary to let everyone know what you're going through. Of course, close friends and family should know, but not the entire world. Who knew that he was fighting cancer? But regardless of that, he gave us amazing movies. He gave us awesome uh, action movies. Yeah. I commend the family, the family for the late Chubby Bosman and the close friends for keeping his sickness a secret. Because people die out of depression as they are stigmatized when such kind of things are brought to the limelight. So, big ups to the family and the close friends. That's the way family is supposed to be. That's the way close friends are supposed to handle issues. Imagine if the entire world came to know about his sickness. Very few people would have sympathized with him. Most of the people would have been stigmatized with him. So I feel what they did is commendable. That's the way we need to live in society. Okay, so we the morning of Chadwick Postman may your soul rest in peace. Patson Daka scores two goals in a Red Bull Salzburg friendly game with Liverpool. Wow! This footballer, this Zambian footballer is making us proud as Zambians. Like he's just doing amazing things. Last time I was talking about him on the other episode and this time he scores two goals in a game against Liverpool. Now this is amazing. This is just amazing. This is what we need to hear. This is what we need to hear as Zambians that our exported footballers are scoring wherever they are. Now, the interesting thing is that Manchester United is now eyeing for this Red Bull Souls big striker. After they've seen his tremendous performance, they are trying to sign him up. I feel it's, 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 it's great news. If Manchester United can sign you up to play for their team, I think it's one of the greatest achievements. So, Patson Daka, congratulations for that upcoming contract with Manchester United. I hope it goes through. And uh, thanks for those two goals that has made us proud, Zambians. So now, um, let's take a look at these uh, short screenshots as they talk about um, Patson Daka scoring and Manchester United uh, wanting to sign this footballer. So now let's take a look at these screenshots of um, Patson Daka scoring for Salisbury against Liverpool as well as Manchester United eyeing for this striker. Take a look at this. On the list, we also have Alice and OC speculation. Recently on social media, there has been talk about Alice Musukwa and OC oscillation. Now, what happened is that OC oscillation posted a photo posing in front of the car. The same car is where Alice as well posed for a photo and posted on a page. OC oscillation posing in front of this particular car. Same location with Alice's photo which she posted on her page as well, posing in front of the same car which OC Oscillation was 
from as well. Same location as well with Alice. So people are now speculating what is really going on between Alice, Roland, and Osi Oscillation. Are the two dating? Are the two a thing or what? So now let's take a look at the two photos that I'm talking about. That is Alice there. Check it here and um, the car. Okay. And now this is OC oscillation. Same car, same location. And now fans, people are speculating, like I said earlier. Let's take a look at some of the comments on uh, Alice Roland's uh, Facebook page when she posted the, the photo. Take a look at this. Look at this comment. I'm sure you can read. Yep. Look at that other comment. Yeah. So people are speculating. They feel um, probably the two are dating or something. But I went uh, on Aussie's page and then I found this other post where he specified to say with Le Bestie. Okay, so I feel he's made it clear that his, uh, Alice Roland is just his best friend and nothing more. But people are not satisfied with that. They feel there's something more to just being best friend. So, only Alice and OC know the truth. If they're dating, why are we to stop them? We need to be happy for them. But if they decide to keep it a bestie kind of a friendship, who are we to argue against that? But at the end of the day, we appreciate whatever they do. We appreciate the music that OC puts out. And whatever Alice Roland does, we are people that appreciate that. So that's OC and Alice Roland speculation. Now we move on, on to the last trending story of the week, which is the 90s challenge. Mm, interesting. So there's this 90s challenge that went around on social media. And uh, one of them, like I gave out earlier, was meet Robert and Kondwa, the first two kids to eat from the neighbor, to eat Ishima from the neighbors in 1906. Like, really. How do you even know that? Like, where did you get the data from to you know that they were the first kids, the first kids to, to eat Ishima from the neighbor? Very hilarious. But I must say it cracked people dreams. Yeah, it was fun, very funny. Let us take a look at this other one as well. So there's this interesting um, 90s challenge um, and it reads Meet Daniel Shadri, Mishe and Abedinigo. The first people to ever say Wala to King Nebuchadnezzar's golden image, like really. <laughs> Why these guys uh, uh, these guys even know the language wala like Honestly, this is funny. Yeah, so that's the image and those are the words that are captioning the image. Like Walla. Walla was Walla there during this, the period of King Nebuchadnezzar because it's crazy. Yeah. Now let's take a look at this other one as well. This particular menu really brought issues on social media. Simon Morlin decided to take part in the challenge and he was attacked by certain individuals uh, calling him childish for taking part in this uh, 90s challenge and to his defense he came out by saying it is only normal to sometimes uh, show a bit of some sense of humor so every time that you need to be serious he's a blogger, he's a blogger so at times you need to show some sense of humor as you do your course, which I feel I agree with him, it's not everything that you need to see at the time, you need to show the, the other side of you that you can have a sense of humor. So let's read this. So Simon Moa, this is the posted uh, his 90s challenge, and, and this is what he said. Look at this. Uh, meet Simon Moa, the first indigenous Zambian to build his own shopping center. Uh, so people attack Mr. Moa. For this uh, 90s challenge uh, of his that he posted on his page. Yeah, so anyway, people have got different opinions and views. At 
the end of the day, do you do what pleases you? People always talk. People always talk as long as they don't put food on the table. They don't buy a bag of milli meal. Do you forget about what they're saying as long as it's not a hit and uh, it's not infringing on hard right? Okay, here's another 90s challenge. I think this one should be an 80s challenge because the year seems to be a bit in the 80s. It reads Meet Cassandra. Yeah, it's a bit of a secret. Meet Cassandra, the first man to use free Facebook in 1870. Like, really? <laughs> free Facebook in, 18, in 1870. What's Facebook there in 1870? <laughs> These guys are crazy, I tell But at the end of the day, it's funny. Yeah. So that is a. Uh, Another 90s challenge that I thought you might be interested in. There are many 90s challenge. There are many 90s challenge. There are many 90s challenge kicks that were posted, but I just thought I'd share with you the few that I shared with you. Yeah, so um, that's about the 90s challenge. I hope, in case you missed that, that's what was happening. In, in, the, in the past week about the challenge the 90s challenge and um that's all we had for you on what's training with lawrence i hope you enjoyed the episode do let us know what you feel in the comment section below share the video like the video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button it, it has to turn gray after you have subscribed now remember, subscribing is absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything to subscribe to somebody's YouTube channel. Like I said, don't forget to share the video. It's been Lawrence from What's Trending with Lawrence. See you in the next episode.